I'm Ben Mankiewicz, Jake Uger, John Irola, Anna Kasparian. I will be yelling throughout the day. <laughs> I was eating breakfast with my kids this morning before I went to go vote. And they're both so excited at the idea that a girl could be president. The wow. idea of Donald Trump excited. beating the person who is could be the first female president. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it doesn't get any worse than that's that. Right, that's right. And as I was waiting in line, there Look at were her smiling. two older white guys. They're, they're behind me, and in the span of five minutes, they badmouth Latinos loudly and very transparently. Badmouth Latinos, Muslims, and black people, okay? And I just couldn't take it anymore. And I just turned around and I told them to shut the F up. We wouldn't. Now, one thing is, I don't believe a single word that this actually occurred. I think this is a total freaking lie that she just made up to make herself look good, okay? I don't believe it for a freaking minute that this actually happened. I have experienced that before. Like that kind of open That's right. hatred where you feel emboldened enough to talk like that about three groups of people in the country. Liar. That are different from you. And and it just, it scares me. I don't want to live in a country like that. Yeah. Then leave. There was only just two leave. ever banned in TYT history. And one of them was Donald Trump way before he ran this time around. Yeah. And he broke us on that, to be fair. Look, this election is over, okay? Mm. Trump cannot win. He can't win for a number of reasons. I mean, Trump cannot win. Remember that for a number of reasons. Let's hear the reasons from Steve-O. Putting aside his uh, xenophobia, racism, mm -hmm. sexism, and all that, that you know, gets uh, Latinos and other groups to vote in large numbers, he's incompetent. I mean, in terms oh, of the, yeah. uh, Real the incompetent. Vote would be always, always going to be kind of close, but the electoral vote won't be close at all. I think he's going to win by, well, I think Hillary will have 320 electoral votes when it's all said and done, plus or minus five. Um, so I never bought into your fear mongering. <laughs> Ida Rodriguez joins us. Yeah. He never bought into the fear mongering. 320 plus or minus five. Let's see how that goes. Yes. You got a Latina. You yeah. have to today. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, it turns out uh, you guys uh, might make all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to tell me specifically why you don't like Hillary. And the reality of it is, is that you don't like her because she has a vagina. By the way, okay, now I'm going to keep it super real. She she chose to not come on this show. Oh. Uh, okay, uh -huh. so it's not like we didn't ask, uh -oh. right? And we asked over and over. And you they voted would, for that. And they, not only that, <laughs> but, but that, but that's part of it, Jimmy. You're a cuck. <laughs> well, one time I was testing a bowling ball, uh, and as I kind of scooped it back, uh, there was a child behind me, <gasps> and it hit him in the face. Uh, wow! So we actually have some actual election results. Yeah, from Indiana? From three states, Indiana, New Let's Hampshire, see. and Kentucky, all with uh, less than 1% of precincts reporting, so they're a little meaningless. Here comes but, uh, Bernie. But um, uh, they're all bad news. <laughs> Let's start with Kentucky because we don't care. Oh, seventy-three twenty-five Trump. Okay, half Kentucky. Who cares? Second, okay. we don't no, care we about love you in Kentucky. Indiana. Don't care. Sixty-nine okay. twenty-eight. Uh, New Hampshire again. Uh, this is important. This is an important one. Uh, less than one percent. I'm sorry, that one actually not less than one percent. That one percent. One percent of precincts. Fifty-three forty-one. Donald Trump. Uh oh. The mood has immediately changed. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, Trump is now taking the lead. In He's taking the lead. In, wait, it. where? In, in Florida. Florida. Okay. And so, come on, stop doing this every two seconds. We're yeah, I agree. Killing ourselves. Uh, Virginia, 10% uh, reporting. Uh-oh, okay, hold on, buckle up. Uh, 54, uh, 41. Trump. Yeah, just put it in. No, no, no. 161,000. No. This was so great, folks. I remember this was so great as this thing went on. You can just see the smiles. Went from here. Mm -hmm. It was great. Got to keep watching these over and over and over again. You got to pump you up. One hundred twenty-three thousand. No, no, it got quiet in here the minute we started reporting these real results. Yep. And uh, and if that continues, mm -hmm. there is going to be a pall in here. Um, oh, I don't even want, I mean, I, I think. Where are I? Where would are, cry. Where are. 
I will literally cry. Yeah. Good. We want to see you me. cry. Uh, uh, <laughs> up and down the middle of the country, all red. Uh, have we called all those out yet? Oh my no, God, we he haven't. built a wall. Okay, so let me, uh, he built a wall. North Dakota, gone. South Dakota, gone. Nebraska, gone. Kansas, gone. All called uh, for Donald Trump. Hold on, yeah, this is so. serious. So the calculation that the New York Times has had is a running prediction of winning the presidency. Last time I glanced at it, John, I don't know if you've been looking at that win presidency meter mm -hmm. below the states, no, below no. the map. Well, it was, oh, yes. it was at 80% an hour ago for Clinton. What is it now? 68%. Okay, uh, God damn it, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, you should be nervous. It's not kidding around anymore. I'm not kidding. Okay, Here, so oh, and ho ho hold, hold. Ohio gone. Okay, Virginia. God okay. damn it, it's 77 percent reporting. Still a five point lead for Trump. Um, Florida, 76 plus early voting reporting. 49, 48, holding steady for Trump. The lead uh, in, uh, in North Carolina has essentially completely evaporated. It's gone. It's tied. Ohio gone. 49-47, Trump now leading. He's got a two-point lead with 30% reporting. Um, so, this was so great, uh, folks. You know what this was so and, great. And so Texas is, is gone, gone. Texas is gone, gone. It was okay. gone Texas. beforehand. So like, hey, attorney verbal, blah, 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 bullshit, gone. Motion. Sometimes I could barely hear you guys because in my head it's like, mm, <laughs> she's losing Virginia, needs Florida, mm, right? And um, <laughs> God damn it! If we need Florida, are you shitting me? More yes. Bad news. Um, Ohio. Now he has built a six-point lead. Thirty-seven percent reporting. Fifty-one forty-five. Uh, North Carolina. He's now taking a one percent lead uh, with thirty-six percent plus early voting in. Wow. Uh, New Hampshire. Sixteen percent reporting, and the lead is down for Hillary Clinton down to three points. Okay, yeah, I don't see a fucking landslide here. I don't see it at all. New Hampshire has been uh, totally uh, oh. tied up, 100% tied up. Oh, 64, Jesus Christ. Yeah, 200 votes for Clinton. Jesus Christ. It is fucking panic time. New Hampshire <laughs> is flipped. He's now leading 48-47. Uh, so he's Look leading at them, in folks. Florida, Virginia. Look at them. Look at Anna Ketsbury in space. Look at J.I. John Adirola. They're sank the jank. Of the young jerks, excuse me, the young Turks. And I don't even know who this guy is, I can't remember. Insignificanto. Anyways, let's continue. New Hampshire, North Carolina, and Ohio is now an eight point lead yeah. for Trump <laughs> with 42% with reporting. They still so weren't going to call it yet. It's soon to be gone, gone. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. You're running out of votes to count. The New York Times forecast of who's likely to win. Uh, Donald Trump, now the favorite to win the presidency. Oh! 51 percent. Uh, Jesus. Uh, this is the most <laughs> haunting thing I have ever had, uh, we've ever d had. Uh, this was great, years. folks. Look at their faces. We, uh, we've been on the air. And we saw, Look at Anna. We thought John Kerry was going to win in 2004. Uh, this is, this is. Trump, we are fucking talking about a madman, incompetent buffoon being the most powerful man on earth. He now has a better than 50% chance. I can't even believe how this is going so far. <laughs> Look and at her. Why I don't obsess about the polls. Yes, they're relevant. Yes, they're interesting to you guys. Um, but I never look at the polls and think, oh, you know what? I'm. Hillary has a comfortable lead according to, an, mm -hmm. you know, all of these polls put together and analyzed mm -hmm. together. It doesn't mean anything, okay? It's, it means something. It means something. <laughs> By the way, as we were talking, 54% chance that Donald Trump wins. They moved while we were talking. It just moved again. 55% chance Donald Trump is going to win right it's now. Gonna it's gonna again, it's, it's gonna move again, It's going to move again. This for is insane. This is okay. insane. So, um... Uh, I've got a lot more ramifications. Oh, wow. For the Trump presidency, uh, brace for impact. New York Times now saying the chance of a Trump presidency is 92%. <laughs> okay. Uh, having a post, what happened to your fucking 98.4%? What I mean, they said there was a 98.4%. And I keep picking on them. Well, that they were not alone. Chance. They were not alone. All the fucking idiots in Washington and New York. Oh, <laughs> you guys are worried about nothing. You're worried about nothing. And now, uh, this will be true rebel headquarters as Trump and his cronies begin their march against our freedoms. Look, we might literally be targeted. 
So remember uh, Alex Jones and Roger Stone bust onto our set uh, in in the RNC, and there were no consequences. They walked. Yeah, you were really um, you were if you recall, you were really shut down during the Trump presidency. Your brand rose during the Trump presidency, just like everybody else, because they had Trump derangement syndrome. Talk about gaslighting people, sank the jank. Your brand rose during his presidency. You guys should be bowing down, genuflecting, kissing his ring, and saying, thank you, Mr. President, for allowing our brand to flourish, even though we're the progressive liars, the delusionists. Around. They didn't get arrested. They didn't get escorted out of the building. And they laughed about it. And so now those guys will be in charge in a lot of ways on a national level. Talk about how historically pathetic the Democratic Party is. Hmm. They let this guy, who has never had any success in business, he's had a track record of monumental failure. Liar. They let him win the presidency and become the most powerful. The, the um, Democratic Party is gone. But I'm at war with the Democratic Party. This corporatist, weak, spineless, pathetic party that lets the imbeciles uh, on the Republican side walk all over this country, that handed power to a, a, a raging, not just bigot, but an incompetent. And I'm done with the losers. And I'm done with those donors. I don't give a fuck what the donors want. Okay, so the De DNC, you think we're coming? Look in a mirror. You're God damn right we're coming for you. We're going to pulverize the DNC. We're going to rip it to shreds. Yes, mm -hmm. we are at war now. So even if some by some miracle here as we're past 11 o'clock Eastern in our live coverage, by some miracle Hillary Clinton wins, I don't care. We're still at war. We're still at war. Because you are this close to handing Trump ultimate power on this planet. Are you insane, you pathetic losers? That face right there, folks, says it all. That face right here, buddies, says it all. Priceless. Like that credit card commercial. Priceless. Priceless, folks. As Trump went on to win, and throughout the night, it just got even better and better and better and better and better, at least for us that had already called it for Trump, even prior to the election. I was there. I've got the proof on my Facebook posts prior to it, the day before, predicting that Trump was going to win. Anyways, folks, we hope you appreciate the time. Uh, we appreciate the time that you took to watch these videos. Check out our other ones, too, as we continue this in here with the Young Jerks and Sank the Jank. And we, if you like our content, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. So you all know what to do. Take a look at our other video links above and below. My final thought, as always, is that when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, like these losers, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.